Yeah, well, it's, I think it started after Friday, you know, uh, just, uh, I don't know if the right word is inundated because it's, it's, uh, it's, it's never a bother, but um, it'll take me a couple days to get back to everybody, former players, in particular guys from that 97 uh, team that lost to UCLA in the, in the national championship game, but it's been uh, great hearing from everybody. Uh, I will definitely circle back with everybody, but it was great after the game. Um, it, there's no better feeling than being on the field with your team after winning a national championship. Just uh, seeing the smiles and the hugs and the accomplishments, and uh, it's, uh, I just can't describe it. It's just a, just a fantastic feeling. And then we had a nice dinner, nice steak dinner after the game, um, and just the look in the eye of some of those seniors. You know, in the, in the second overtime of that game, uh, Kyler Sullivan, Eric Burt, Callie Brown. I looked them right in the eye and said, "This is the last 10 minutes of your career here at Virginia, man. You know, and we don't give up a goal." You know, and, uh, and those guys, you know, the response was fantastic. So it's been fun. Any different than it was five years ago? Compare this team maybe to that one, or uh, you know, that, that five years ago in 2009 was pretty special too. It was my first one personally, um, but you know, I would say that it's pretty equal. I, I gotta say the feeling. Uh, it doesn't uh, lessen by any stretch of imagination or, or, or get better. It's just a, an unbelievable feeling and accomplishment, yeah. How long does it take for something like this to set in after it's done? Uh, it's a good point. I think it's. I think it still is setting in. Um, uh, like I said, I, I can't describe uh, the feeling of being around your players. And, and you know, more, today, my staff and I finally you know, getting in the office and, and talking about the year and everything that goes into it. And, you know, walking into this building behind me here at uh, 6.30 in the morning for training, pitch black, walking down. And I actually woke up this morning missing it, believe it or not. Um, so, but, you know, th those are the fun things that go into it. Um, you know, the support staff, just, just seeing the guys from the strength and conditioning today, seeing them, um, our, our equipment room staff, our training room staff, uh, nutrition staff. I mean, the, the things that go into um, being able to compete at this level and the people behind it, it's incredible. I guess the uh, style of play that you used, uh, you just you, you, you did it out of necessity more than anything else. And my, I guess my question is, next year now, you know, you, you won a national championship using this style out of necessity. Do you, do you rethink and say, hey, maybe we, we should just use this style regardless? Or? Um, you know, it's hard to answer, Whitey, because um, if you watched us throughout the year, it's uh, how we played in the playoffs was not how we played dur during the season, right? So. Um, we were uh, obviously much more attacking, but left ourselves pretty vulnerable. You know, uh, uh, we, we concluded that um, all the attacking and all the forward movements that we had as a team um, didn't really result in enough goals. Um, and at the point after which we lost the uh, Notre Dame game 3-0, we decided we, you know, needed to take a more pragmatic approach to. How we're going to win a championship, and uh, that was the approach. And then having the players buy into it, and having two weeks to train it, and um, and even through the playoffs, we had to adapt. I mean, um, tweak a formation here, a player there. Eric Bird gets hurt, so um, you know I would tell you that we'll, we'll f I'll figure out what our t what our team's best at in the spring, and then it'll take me through the fall to figure out what we're best at to make a championship run. And then just in that same vein, I know you're not exactly looking to next year already, but you mentioned some of the seniors that you're going to be losing. Um, I guess those, some of those are pretty big losses. Yeah, I mean, in particular, Eric Bird, you know, Callie Brown and Matt Brown did really well, and Kyler Sullivan and Ryan Zink, and those guys were, were in the lineup. But I think you got a little bit of a snapshot with Eric Bird being hurt for most of the playoffs um, with, you know, a little bit of life after Eric Bird uh, with, with our team. You know? Pop um, Yeah, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he was arguably our best player, Eric Bird. Um, uh, and you got a pretty, like I said, a, a month worth of some playoff soccer to see what we're going to look like a little bit next, you know, next fall, in particular with Pablo, uh, but some other guys too. Um, so, yeah, th those guys are, look, they're, they'll be hard to replace. I think I said this last year too. There are guys that didn't step on the field um, much at all, and some, some not at all. Uh, in fact, a couple that we kind of redshirted that I think are going to be important players in the program and they're going to play next year. You get Marcus back. That's a big one. <laughs> Getting Marcus Solani before back is absolutely huge. Yeah.